The name's Mattix. Matt Mattix. Mathematical secret agent. Licensed to chill. This may look like a picture postcard alpine tree. It is, however, the secret headquarters of Intermath. What? Miss Minipinny? Next door. Ah, there you are, Mattix. Miss Minipinny, hello. Oh, do pay attention, Mattix. That dastardly strange glove is up to his evil tricks again. He's built a giant electromagnetic storm cloud blender up in the Alpine Mountains. That's right, Mattix. My storm cloud blender can mix up a storm capable of emitting five gigawatts of electricity. Once released into the atmosphere, I can take out every calculator within a 50-mile radius. Complete mathematical meltdown! Ha! And the only way to stop me is to answer questions on fractions. So, Mattix, what do you know about equivalent fractions? I know that one half of you plus one half of me makes one beautiful, beautiful whole. Oh, I thought you'd say something like that. <laughs> Let's remind ourselves about equivalent fractions. Equivalent fractions are worth exactly the same but look different, in the same way that two 10p pieces are equivalent to one 20p piece. They're worth exactly the same. When looking at fractions, remember, the top number is called the numerator and the bottom number the denominator. So, how do you find out if a fraction such as four-sixths is equivalent to two-thirds? If you multiply the numerator and denominator of a fraction by the same number, you will get an equivalent fraction. Let's try multiplying the numerator and denominator by two. Two times two equals four. And two times three equals six. That's four-sixths. So they are equivalent. Six-ninths is also equivalent to two-thirds. Top and bottom have been multiplied by three. Eight-twelfths is also equivalent to two-thirds. Top and bottom have been multiplied by four. All these are equivalent to two-thirds. How do we know? Remember, multiplying top and bottom by the same number will give you an equivalent for any fraction. Did you get all that, Mattix? <laughs> what did you say? I said... <laughs> Thought so. That's why I've assigned my special agents to the mission. Hologram systems working? A-OK. -okay. Special agents ready for action. Each agent is programmed with information on fractions. Thanks, Minnie Pinny. How about a big hug to wish me luck? Of course. <laughs> Agent 009. Yikes! Oh! Good luck. Mission 1. Locate Strange Glove's cave. So, where is Strange Glove? Here I am. Catch me if you can. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the only way in Mattix is to complete my math challenge. And guess what? There's a storm brewing. Oh no! Special Agents, I need you to complete this challenge for me. Welcome, mathematical mediocrities. Let's see what you know. All of these fractions are equivalent to one half, except for one. But which one? Remember, to find the equivalent fraction to a half, multiply the top and bottom of the fraction by the same number. One times four is four, and two times four is eight. So four eighths is equivalent to a half. What about five tenths? Times top and bottom of one half by five, that's five tenths. So, is six eighths the odd one out? Let's start with a half and times top and bottom by six. 
That's six twelfths, so six eighths is the odd one out. Ooh, correct! But now you must answer these questions without any help whatsoever. First, work them out in your head, then write down your answers when you hear this sound. <coughs> For each correct answer, you will receive one mark. But you need at least three marks each before the cave door opens. Prepare to answer questions on equivalent fractions. Question one. Which fraction is the odd one out? Question two. Can you spot the odd one out? Question three. From these fractions, find the odd one out. Question four! Which of these is the odd one out? Question five. Can you find the odd one out? Now, mark your answers carefully. Question one, three eighths. Question two, six tenths. Question three, ninety hundredths. Question four, twenty-five hundredths. Question five, seven thirtieths. Give yourselves one mark for every correct answer. Add them up and make a note of your total score. You'll need it later. So, how do we do, special agents? Your special agents aren't so special after all, Matrix. And look, I am blending the biggest electromagnetic storms of hand has ever seen. And it's all yours, Matrix. All for you. <laughs> the only way to stop me is to complete another maths challenge. Agents, you must do better this time. Mission two, save Matt from the biggest electrical storm the world has ever seen. Come in, Minnie Penny. Mayday! Mayday! I, I can't hear you, Mattix. The storm is interfering with my transmission. Special agents, I can't get through to HQ. You'll have to transmit everything you know about fractions. Affirmative. Sometimes a fraction is a mix of whole numbers and fractions. These are called mixed numbers. When the numerator is larger than the denominator, the fraction is larger than one. For example, seven halves is exactly the same as three and a half. And 49 tenths is exactly the same as four and nine tenths. We're up to speed on mixed fractions. Ready for the math challenge. Ha <laughs> ha, let's see. How many halves are in nine and a half? Let me answer that. There are two halves in one whole number. So in nine whole numbers, there must be 18 halves. Plus the extra half in nine and a half makes 19 halves altogether. Well done, agents! Hmm. Let's look at the question another way. How many whole ones are in eight thirds? Allow me, strange glove. There are three thirds in one whole. So in eight thirds, there are two whole numbers and two-thirds left over. So the answer is two whole numbers. Enough! Let the real challenge begin. This time, you have to answer questions without any help. First, work them out in your head, then write down your answers when you hear this sound. You will receive two marks for each correct answer, but you will need at least six marks each to switch off my storm blender. Prepare to answer questions on mixed numbers! Question one. How many quarters in three and a quarter? Question two. How many tenths in two and three tenths? Question 
in three. How many whole ones are in 13 quarters? Question four! How many quarters are in one and three quarters? Question five. How many thirds are there in two? And finally, question six. How many whole ones are in 21 eighths? Get ready to mark your answers carefully. Question one, 13. Question two, 23. Question three, three whole ones. Question four, seven quarters. Question five, six thirds. And question six, two whole ones. Give yourselves two marks for each correct answer and make a note of your overall score. You'll need it later. Special agents, please tell me you scored enough. Phew. Now for the electromagnetic storm cloud blender. Ha ha ha! You'll never switch my blender off, Patix! No, I'll never switch it off. But I can switch it on to full speed. Oh, wait! I like my electromagnetic storm clouds shaken, not stirred. Ah! Let me out! Okie dokie. Just your fate! In your maths lessons! In your maths tests! I'll be there to stop you! So, thanks to yours truly, the world's calculators are safe once more. Thanks to my special agents, you mean. I was coming to them. Now, it's time to see how you did. Add your score from Mission 1 to your score from Mission 2. Are you a cadet? Special Agent or Master Spy. And here's your secret mission until next time. So write it down. Using colored building blocks, make as many different cuboids as you can. In each cuboid, a third of the blocks must be red. See how many different cuboids you can make. Good luck and goodbye. Phew, that's better. This intermath pod will self-destruct in 60 seconds. 60 seconds? Just kidding. It'll self-destruct immediately. 